गुड मॉर्निंग सिस्टा स्टूडेंट्स सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग द लेसन लैंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश ओके सो वी हैव डिस्कस इन द लास्ट क्लास सो व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस सो वी डिस्कस इन द लास्ट क्लास अबाउट माउंटेन्स अबाउट प्लेट्स ओके एंड डेकन प्लेट्स ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन बे ऑफ बंगाल Eastern Ghats, okay, and the important places also we are discussed in the last class. And in the last class we also discussed about deltas, okay. So what are the important deltas? The Godavari Delta, the Krishna Delta, okay. And at the same time we also discussed the important hills in Andhra Pradesh. They are. Shishachalam Hills, Patukondala Hills, Nalamala Hills. So, all these are, we are discussed in the last class. Okay. So, today, we have, we shall discuss next topic, that is, Pennamakuru, a village in the Krishna Delta. Okay. Pennamakuru, okay, a village in the Krishna Delta. So, this is today's topic. Okay. So, Penamakuru, a village in the Krishna Delta. Okay. So, here we can see one canal here. So, that is known as Bandar Canal. So, here we see one canal. So, that canal is what? Bandar Canal. Okay. So, we discuss about Bandar Canal. Okay, so Bandar Bandar Canal is near the Krishna. The Bandar Canal is located near the Krishna. Okay, so the Bandar Canal is situated or located the river. Okay, Krishna at Prakasham Barracks. Okay, in Vijayawada. Okay, so this Bandar Canal flows from the northwest, okay, of the village towards the southeast. So the Bandar Canal flows, okay, from the northwest, okay, of the village towards the southeast. So here, water of this canal is taken to the fields through the small field channel. So here the Bandar Canal's water is used for the agricultural purpose. Okay, and this water will be taken to the fields. Okay, through small field channels. Okay, so here the Penamakuru village is situated between the Krishna River. Okay, and the Bandar Canal between between the Krishna River and Bandar Canal. Okay, so the Panamakuru village is located. Okay, so the Panamakuru village is situated between the Krishna River and the Bandar Canal. Okay, so this is all about the Bandar Canal. Are you clear? So once again, I am repeating Bandar Canal. Okay, so Bandar Canal is near to the Krishna River. At the Prakasham Barracks, okay. So that Prakasham Barracks is located in Vijayawada, okay. So this Bandar Canal flows from the northwest of the village towards the southeast, okay. So here the water of this canal is taken to the fields through the small field channels. Okay, so the Bandar Canal water is utilized for the purpose of agricultural purposes. Okay, so the Panamakuru village is located or situated between the Krishna River and Bandar Canal. Okay, so this is all about the Bandar Canal. Okay, so next one is soil. Okay, so in Panamakuru. The soils are mostly fertile alluvial soil. 
So why? Because here the Krishna river is flowing. So whenever the Krishna river is flowing in the rainy season, so at that time, okay, the river will be brought silt, sand, mud, and deposited in the plain areas. So that's why here the soil is very fertile soil. So here the soil is called alluvial soil. Or uh, it is also called black soil. Okay, black soil. So generally, the alluvial soil or the black soils are very rich. Okay, so that's why these soils are called onru bhumi. Okay, so generally. These black soils, okay, the soils deposited by the river, okay, are called alluvial soil. Black soils are alluvial soil. Okay, so these black soils or alluvial soils are also called anurubhumi. Okay, so we can also find fine and clay black soil up to a depth of 15 feet. So, up to the depth of 15 feet, okay, so we can see the black soil. Okay, so we can also find, okay, fine and clay black soil up to a depth of 15 feet. And these soils are called Nalla Ragada Bhumi. So in Telugu, this is called what? Nalla Ragada Bhumi. Okay. Or in Telugu word, Anru Bhumi. Okay. So, some parts of the village near to the river on the west and south have sandy soil. Okay. So, some parts of the village, okay. So, near to the river, so to the west part and south part, so we can see the sandy soil. Okay, which part? West part and south part. So we can see, okay, sandy soils. So these soils are called Ishika Bhumi. So these sandy soils are called what? Ishika Bhumi. Okay, so these sandy soils are called what? Ishika Bhumi. So in Tibet. Okay, so in this area, farmers raising two or three crops a year. Why? Because here the Bandar Canal is there. Okay, so generally the rainy season, one crop is growing. So after that, so here the canal facility is there. That's why here the farmers, okay, the farmers are raising two or three crops. Okay, so this is all about the soils. Are we clear? So once again I am repeating. Okay, sorry. So in Penamakur, okay, so in Penamakur soils are mostly black soils. So here the soils are mostly black soils. Okay, so the soils deposited by the rivers. So in the rainy season, whenever the river is flowing, full of water, so at that time the river brought silt, sand, mud. Okay, and they are also brought alluvial soils. Okay, and they are deposited in the plain areas. So that soil is called alluvial soils. That soil is called what? Alluvial soil or alluvial soil or black soil. So this is also called onru bhumi. Okay, so we can also find, okay, and we can also find fine and clearly black soils up to a depth of 15 feet. Okay, up to, the depth, up, up to the depth of 15 feet, we can see the black soil also. Okay, so these soils are called Nalla Ragada Bhumi. So in Telugu, these soils are called what? Nalla Ragada Bhumi. Okay, so some parts of village near to the river on the west and south, we have a sandy soil. So in the, in the part, in the 
west part and south part we can see the sandy soil and these only green sandy soils are called ishika bhumi so in telugu this is called what ishika bhumi okay so in this area farmers are raising two or three crops so generally in the rainy season they are growing one crop so after that here the water facility is there so here one canal is there bandar canal okay so that's why here the farmers are raising two or three crops okay so this is all about the soil okay so next one is rainfall and irrigation next one is what okay rainfall and irrigation so here okay so this region this is rains from june to october so generally due to the south west monsoon okay in our in our country okay so the monsoon first burst in the kerala coast okay and we have plentiful rain in the month of June, July, August, September, and up to October month. Okay, so this region receives okay rain from June to October. So this region receives rain from the southwest monsoon. So I have already told you. Okay, the southwest monsoon first burst in the Kerala coast. Okay, and it will dispatch through our through our throughout our country. so we are receiving the rainfall from the southwest monsoon okay so due to the southwest monsoon so we are receiving the rainfall okay so here good sunshine and warm temperature may possible to raise the crops throughout the year so so in our state or in our region so there is a good rainfall okay and at the same time the good sunshine okay and at the same time the warm temperature so it may possible to raise the crops in throughout the year okay so here the panama coast is very near to the krishna river i have already told you okay the panama coast is near to the krishna river okay so that's why the that's why here the ground water can be found at a depth of only 15 to 25 feet okay so 15 to 25 feet we get the water so why because here one river is there the river is called krishna okay so here the ground water we can be found at a depth of 15 to 25 feet okay below the ground level so why because here one river is there the river is called the krishna river so that's why we are getting the water below the depth of 15 to 25 feet okay so this region is completely electrified and farmers use bore wells with submersible pumps so here the farmers okay so where there is no canal area okay so in that region the farmers are using the bore wells so they are digging the bore wells okay so where there is no canal facility there so that's why in this region where there is no canal facilities they are okay so they are using the bore wells and here this region is completely electrified okay and the farmers are using the bore wells with the submersible pumps so they are using the submersible pumps okay and they use the water to the agricultural land okay so this is all about the rainfall and irrigation all are clear so once again we will so here the region receives rains from june to october so here the rainfall is from june july august september 
and it may be a October also. So this region receives rains from the southwest monsoon. So the southwest monsoon first burst in the Kerala coast and it will be spread throughout the country. So this is called southwest monsoon. Okay. So here there may be a good sunshine. Okay. Here the warm temperature. So here, okay, due to the good sunshine, due to the warm temperature, due to the good rainfall, okay, so here it may possible to raise the crops throughout the year. Okay, so here the Panamakuru is very near to the river Krishna. Okay, so that's why here, okay, the groundwater can be found below the 15 to 25 feet. So why? Because here one river is flowing, that river is called the Krishna River. Okay, so due to the Krishna River, okay, here the groundwater can be formed at a depth of only 15 to 25 feet. Okay, so here this region is completely electrified. Okay, and the harness also used the bore wells. Okay. And with the submersible pumps, they are used to the submersible pumps also. Okay, to draw water to the agricultural land. Okay, so this is all about, this is all about the Pandamakuru village in the Krishna Delta. Okay, so okay students, once again revise well. Okay, go through textbooks. Okay, so this is part 2. Okay, so part 3, we shall discuss in the next class. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.